Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of a narwhal navalure. I said that wrong. <laughs> Let me try that again. Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of a navalure nautilus. So I'll tell you what happened there at the opening. Uh, the company was once known as Narwhal. Now they're known as Navalure. Uh, there's some legal reason why. Uh, Navalure and Narwhal are speaking of the same animal. It's the whale with the big horn on his beak. Um, but uh, yeah, they've renamed. So we'll see. But anyway, let's take a look at the pen. Oh look, it's a box with a squiggle on it. What the squiggle is, is a very stylized whale, uh, specifically a narwhal. So narwhals are the whales that uh, basically have a horn in the front. Um, is this a narwhal pen? No. Uh, the company used to be known as narwhal, now it's known as Navalure. Apparently there's some branding issues I didn't really follow. All. Well, actually I just didn't bother researching it. But I have the narwhal nautilus. A bronze Corridorus. I got a double broad nib just for giggles and snorts. Uh, my pen that I purchased, I was lucky I found it at a decent price because this is kind of an expensive pen. So you open it up. Well, shoot. <laughs> okay, good gravy. There we go. All right, so you open it up, and you get another box, which, uh, you know, this is why you have packaging around pens. Uh, the one side has Navalure Nautilus, the other side that I was showing you was blank. So, one flapper doodle opens it. I don't know, maybe it's magnetic? Yeah, I feel a little magnet there, so it just goes boop, boop. Okay. So we open it up, we get more Navalure. And on the back, some instruction-y type of stuff and warranty and all that business. So we'll maybe not throw that across the room. <clears throat> and the pen itself. Nothing else in the box. Whoop. <laughs> Looking at the pen, I think it's very attractive. I've liked the looks of this pen for a long time. Um didn't like the price so much but uh, I found one got a steel nib on it that probably helped at a more acceptable price so let's just uh, I like that it's rounded some of the other details I like yeah, just a plain finial plain clip uh, we have some kind of design work here on this trim ring and then we have little portholes for seeing the ink, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, the body isn't exactly black. It's kind of a very, very, very dark brown. I believe it's ebonite. Unscrew it. We have a nautilus nib and a double broad. And again, it's steel. I believe that they make their own nibs, but I've seen that feed design before, so... I don't know if that if it means the nib is made by somebody else like uh, Yovo and then they just brand it or how that works but anyway so let's see what we've got oh piston turning knob and the piston seems to work smoothly in there so let's see how it writes I did another video very recently where the pen did not take in any ink who knows if that video has been published at the time you see this, but uh, let's see. So I'm hearing bubbling, so that's a good sign. And of course this is Parker Quink Washable Blue, because what else on this channel? More bubbling. We'll just do two full fill, two squirts. And then uh, wipe off the excess ink, we'll just take a look how full we got this thing. Oh, maybe we'll drip out one or two drops of ink. There. I feel better. So, portholes look full. I can see... 
Okay, I gotta hold it up to my eyeball. All right, so I think that white that you see there, the bluish, might be a bit of reflection because when I hold it vertically, I don't see ink through it. So I think we got a pretty decent fill on that. As I was writing the name, I kind of forgot that this is a double broad, so we're going to have to write a little bit bigger than that. So the ink in it is Parker Quink Washable Blue. I'm finding it's very comfortable to hold. Uh, I like the line it's laying down. I see a variation in the color. Um, very feels really good actually uh, I don't sense any flex but we gotta try so not really a flex pen I don't really see any line variation so none of that but uh, quite attractive I'm thinking of, you know if I put a nice shading ink in this that I think that would be quite attractive in this pen wetness and flow test I think without me doing this test you can tell that this is a pretty good writer it's got very nice flow we'll do a little smear test Um, yeah, that was wet. Uh, sorry, reverse writing, if you're into that kind of thing, which some of my viewers are. That is one of the smoothest extra finds I think I've ever seen, ever experienced. That was nice. That could make me actually like extra fine for like my daily writing. That is really nice. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Had a bit of a poor start there, but I think that was my fault. Just to be sure, let's do it again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was my fault. So, I'm actually pretty excited to write with this pen. Oh, let's see how many times I had to unscrew it. So, one. Okay, so one and two-thirds. Not ideal, but not terrible either. So I think you saw what appealed to me. When this first came out, it appealed to me, but I feel like it was either more expensive or else only available with a gold nib. Uh, I, I'm impressed with it. I think it's very attractive. I, I like the nautical theme with the porthole ink windows. I think that just gives it something unique. Uh, cigar shape and all that, you know, that's not so unique, but very chunky. I wouldn't call it a submarine design because it's really not. It's a an attractive design so on the whole i'm actually quite pleased with it and it doesn't hurt that it writes very well i enjoyed writing with this pen i uh yeah i am i'm very interested to see what else this company comes up with sorry i got distracted by something on the pen but it was just a piece of dirt okay anyway um Piston works smoothly. I, uh, I understand that they make their own nibs, which is interesting. I'd like to find some verification of that. You know, do they make their own nibs or are they Yovo or some other brand of nib that just got their own special imprint on it? You know, making your own nib is a process. Uh, as far as I could find, the company's based in California. Passes the pocket test very well. Uh, just on the whole, I'm glad I bought it. Uh, this was not a pe purchase that was funded by advertising dollars. This was out of my own pocket. And, uh, yeah, I'm uh, really happy I have it. So, I hope that was interesting. I hope it was helpful. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.